Campaigners are demanding transparency over plans to dump more mud from Hinkley Point nuclear power station in Somerset into the sea near Cardiff. RTUK Shadia Ebers Dashdu reports. The row over dumping mud dredged from an English nuclear power station into Welsh waters is back in the spotlight. Nearly 800,000 tonnes of sediment evacuated during the construction of Hinkley Point C is set to be deposited into the sea just behind me off Cardiff Bay in Wales, even though the nuclear power site itself is across the water in Somerset. Local politician Neil McAvoy is campaigning against what he calls the UK government plutonium leak cover-up. I think probably the only first country in the world it could happen in is Wales. We have a government which uh, is essentially dominated by the English government in Westminster. They're not standing up for us, they're not insisting on testing, and they're allowing a UK government to flush their nuclear toilet all around the Welsh coast. It, it, it's staggering. It's an outrage. They didn't test for plutonium. We uncovered a report which proves that plutonium leaked into the estuary for decades from the nuclear power station. So if there is plutonium leaking into the estuary, then clearly it's going to be in the mud. Leave it there. Don't dig it up. It just doesn't make sense. The row began back in 2018 when it was revealed the UK had approved plans for the dumping of 300,000 tonnes of sediment from the Hinkley Point power station. But it's set to be upped by another 780,000 tonnes of mud off the Welsh coast next year as part of building work for the new £22 billion reactor. I, th I think it's a huge cover-up because they did dump the mud without testing and we mustn't let them do it again. They've got away with 80,000 tonnes. If they come back with almost a million tonnes, it, it's going to be incomprehensible what, what, the, the, the damage that could be done. Since February, when National Resources Wales granted EDF Energy permission to dump more mud off the Cardiff coast, there's been a heightened backlash about whether the deposit is contaminated, which could have implications on people's health and safety. Cardiff has since seen protests, a Senate debate and even a 10,000-strong petition against the plans. Musician Kian Kieran of the Super Fairy Animals argues it's a national scandal. So I feel Wales is under nuclear siege sometimes, and it's beyond our power. I feel Wales is uh, being lied to in a similar way, I think, to what happened in Chernobyl. I don't think um, we're being told the truth about the harmful effects of uranium particles. The essence is it's, it's environmental justice, isn't it? it's social justice, it is um, a moral issue. Isn't it? over a political issue. EDF Energy insists that previous testing proves the mud is no different to any other and is not classified as radioactive under British law. But in light of public concerns, it says it will carry out a full environmental impact assessment. The mud and sediment will be tested before it is dredged. We also intend to conduct a full environmental impact assessment as part of our disposal licence application. We believe it is right to go beyond technical arguments to provide the necessary public confidence that all concerns have been addressed. And while the Welsh Government itself has said that robust licensing laws will protect health and the environment, is this all enough to curb the worries of the community in Cardiff? I mean, if it's just ordinary uh, and it isn't dangerous, then I don't see the harm in it. But obviously, if it is radioactive or dangerous to people's health, then obviously uh, something should be done about it, shouldn't it? Oh, it stinks. Absolutely stinks down there. The mud there now is absolutely awful. It is disgusting. It's very worrying. You think about the pollution. But um, I don't think anyone's really happy with it, if I'm honest. I feel we're very patriotic here as well. And I feel like things like that will all just upset people anyway. There must be alternatives. Presumably the, the alternatives are more expensive. I think they should, uh, you know, try and find a more environmental, better alternative. There's little to reassure those with real concerns. And with the full impact of the huge deposits yet to be assessed, the future for Cardiff Bay looks far from clear. Shadia Edwards-Dashdy, RTUK, Cardiff.